So here's my uh, new uh, controller. Um, it is an Ipega. One second. Urgh, damn it. It's this Ipega telescopic controller. <clears throat> the PG9023. I'll leave a link in the description if you want it. Basically, it just wraps around up to a 10 inch tablet. It works with iOS, Android, and uh, PC. Um, so, you probably use it with a Windows tablet. Um, so, here it is. It's, I believe, yeah, it's all paired up. Works quite well with the uh, Shield tablet. Um, basically, what? Basically, what? It works with Game Stream, uh, a lot of emulators. I had trouble with RetroArch. I had to use TinCore Key Mapper, but that requires root access if you're using the Shield tablet. You also have the uh, GamePad Mapper that you can map over the touch controls if you really wanted to. It's a little disappointing. But RetroArch is actually supposed to be coming out with a new version soon, which is supposed to be including a lot of, like, emulators. I don't quote me on this, but I heard them talking about 3DO and, like, you know, emulators are for systems that nobody liked, but, you know, it's that's digging deep. <laughs> um, so it's good to see uh, Android getting even emulators that uh, for systems that people didn't really even like. Uh such as that. Um, it's supposed to, I believe, in, uh, include a lot of performance tweaks because uh, for for more advanced emulators in uh, RetroArch, they kind of perform very poorly. Um, yeah. So, trying to... I have a case on my phone. I'm using my phone to record this because my camera died. Although it's actually doing a better job with the lighting. I just don't have anything to hold it still except my hand. But, yeah. So let's just do some stuff here. Focus, Mr. Camera, on cell phone. So I played all these games. They work fine. Um, everything I played, except RetroArch, I think, worked just fine. Um, even trying to, somebody said that trying to didn't work. I tested it out, it worked fine. Uh, so there you go, grid works. It's trying to, I'll show you, even trying to, I'll launch it and show it. Uh, do a little, a little gameplay of that. My arm, is, my hand is starting to hurt from holding this stupid phone. I hate recording things with a phone, but I wanted to record this video, so. Whatever. Made for NVIDIA Tegra. There's a start button. There's no back button on this controller, though. That's a big disappointment because it requires a back button for, to bring up that streaming dialogue with the gameplay capture stuff. Uh, also, the triggers, if you were wondering, there are triggers back here, and they are not analog, they are digital. So, if you're into racing games, it's kind of a downside. So, Zoom the game. train had come for the heroes. There is volume the on here, so I can begin. lower the volume from the controller. Amadeus worried for his family, while Pontius looked forward to their new quest. Amadeus, Pontius, Zoya. Oh, I'm going to die. So, wish I could not have this case in the way. Hmm. It's not going to be easy trying to... Can I use the touchscreen? For much? Uh, anyways, as you see, buttons work. I can kill myself, you know. Alright, so there I died. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. Focus camera. Focus cell phone camera. But yeah, we see that this works. So anyways, that's that. That's all I wanted to show, is that that game actually works. And there's no problems. Yeah, nice. 
beat the shit out of the the phone camera thingy. Also, the uh, the built-in um, mapping tool, the gamepad mapper, does work with this. Um, not the clock. The built-in mapping tool also works with the controller, so it works perfectly fine with the controller. So there's that. And I'm going to be doing some gameplay with this controller here, so I don't make a video that's nine years long about this. So thank you for watching.